Well, clients 50 and older process information differently and they make decisions differently. And I've got two communications concepts for you to understand. And the first of those is something called, uh, that, that relates to what gerontologists and psychologists have taught us that today's communication styles are based on how younger minds work. Older minds work differently. It's a, we're looking at fluid intelligence and crystallized intelligence. Both of them are in play at the same time. Fluent intelligence is how we learn. It's the things we learned in school, the rote, by rote, or other practices, by our studying, and so forth, at a much younger age. Fluent intelligence is words and numbers. Gee, does that sound some, like something in your business? It tends to be logical, linear, and analytical. It's, our, it's, it's what's happening to us, and younger people gr are grade higher with the use of, of fluent intelligence. Crystallized intelligence relies on your experience and culturalized, cultural acquired information. It's our life knowledge. It tends to be expression, expre, impressionistic, intuitive, and experimental. Let's look at that on a chart. I think this is a chart that I've had really, really for, for quite a number of years. Performance is on the left axis and age is on the right axis. And this is, shows you how in red, crystallized intelligent peaks at age 25 and declines and declines and declines and declines. F crystallized, in I'm sorry, fluid intelligent, crystallized intelligence does not decline. In fact, it strengthens. And so, as we said, it's the culturally acquired information. Young people use fluid intelligence more. It's, it's delivered to them in school, college, whatever. But as we get older, we simply cannot fully comprehend new information with age. Let's look at an, another important emo, uh, way to deal with emotional connect, collection, connection. As people mature, cognition patterns become more right brain oriented where memories and emotions reside. Memories and emotions are the mind's access to experience and therefore to th the evaluation of you. In a second, uh, Nick Murray, who uh, many of you know, uh, uses the term places in the heart, not places in the chart. Okay, you can say charts are right brain, but places in the heart, he's talking about touching the heart. In the second half of the life, our cognition patterns become less left brain, but more right brain oriented. And a right brain lead is more favorable, effective in getting a favorable response.